At first, it's just a kernel, a thought, a what if, a maybe, the kind of thing you can't get out of your mind. You sketch it, you brainstorm it, you tell people about it, but what's next? How do you turn creativity into reality? How do you turn today's idea into tomorrow's tech? Simple, you engineer it. In this four-part series, we'll explore the process of bringing technological ideas to life. We'll meet an innovator working to translate concept to reality, as well as designers and production experts moving tech from discovery to design to development. We call it Engineering Big Ideas. Presented by Mauser Electronics, Molex, Intel, Analog Devices, and Microchip Technology. Transportation game changer and hydrogen innovator Nikola may already have a pre-order of 13,000 hybrid semi-trucks, but not long ago, all they had was an idea for how to revolutionize the economic and environmental impact of commerce as we know it. Is there a singular moment where you first realized that you were onto something big? When I first started this back in 2012, nothing about zero emission trucks was cool. No one even thought about it. The investors I went to talk to told me I was nuts. They told me I was crazy. And what ended up happening was the diesel scandal had really hit. And at that moment, the world realized that the diesel world was cheating emission standards in order to sell more diesels. When the truck came out and all the orders started coming in, that's when I knew that we were onto something. How difficult is it to be a technology disruptor? It's really difficult, but I have to tell you, as somebody who comes from the other side of the technology, it's much more fun to be the disruptor than it is to be the disrupted. <laughs> what makes this the most technologically advanced truck in the world? It's not just a semi-truck. It's not just a hydrogen-powered semi-truck. This is a way to transform the way that stuff moves across the country. This is a mirrorless camera system on the truck. So this allows us to enhance the range of our vehicle by getting better aerodynamics. So tell me a little bit about what's going to happen in this building. The idea here is, is that you can build an entire prototype from the ground up without ever having to leave. So part of it would get the chassis built, part of it would get the cab built, part of it would get the clay model design, everything. We're here in the design center of Nikola Motor Company, uh, where we bring designs to life. The Power Sports division encompasses off-road vehicles in our NZT vehicle for consumers, a militarized version of that vehicle, and the Nikola Wave electrified personal watercraft. And here it is, full scale. A really important part of our process is, is being able to model in virtual reality using virtual reality goggles. So this is what the interior looks like. Every ounce of me wants to start this truck up and drive it straight through that wall. It's one thing to innovate a hydrogen-powered truck, but you're also having to innovate an entire infrastructure for fueling those trucks. We have to parallel path the building of the vehicle with the building of the fueling infrastructure. And it's a huge challenge. So is this pump a proprietary technology? No, we're actually working with our competitors in the field to create the next standard in heavy duty fueling. Why hydrogen? Hydrogen is, is very energy dense. Hard to beat the energy density of fossil fuels, but hydrogen does it. The advantage of hydrogen is it has an indefinite cycle life. Hydrogen can last forever. So you can reutilize it for millions of years and it'll never, it'll never run out. Let's talk a little bit about failure. If you've got something and you feel like you've made the right decision, the wind's at your back, just attack it, just go at it. And if you fail, fail graciously. And what'll happen is that'll morph you into something better. And then you'll get back up and you're gonna do it again, you're gonna fail graciously. Every time you fail means you've got enough guts to learn what someone else is too afraid to learn and you're that much closer to success. And once you get it, damn, it just feels good. Once a discovery is made, how do you prove to yourself and everyone else that the idea is possible? The key to the next phase of the innovation process is building a working prototype. In our next episode, we'll talk to Arduino founder Massimo Bonzi to understand how a creative idea takes the first step towards becoming real tech. This has been the Discover Phase of Engineering Big Ideas, 